This is Duke University. And one of the purposes of this class is to introduce people who are not future scientists to the beauties of astronomy and of physics in general. And this winter, I have the opportunity to take that to a whole new level uh, because through Coursera, I'm teaching an online version to an audience that is exponentially larger than the number of people I would ever have uh, sitting in my classroom. We've been having to think about what are the uh, challenges and the new opportunities that this new medium affords and how do we uh, make the student experience on this online course richer than the experience of sitting in a classroom and uh, interacting directly with the professor. One of the beautiful things is that physics is something real. The same laws of physics that govern the stars govern what happens to objects around us. The laws are universal. And so you can demonstrate the action of these laws by building sort of little analogies to a star and putting them in the classroom physically right in front of the students. And we have this rich collection of demonstrations that we've been using for years, and we think it's a very important part of how we teach. The challenge this posed is you can do an experiment in front of 50 students in a classroom. How do you transfer that experience to thousands of people watching on video and getting the same, or as much as you can, of the same benefit out of you running the same experiment? In this demo, what we are seeing is that as soon as I drop the cup, the water spout coming out of the bottom ceases. The water spout was driven by gravity. It's the weight of the water that causes the water at the bottom to splash out. The fact that the spout stops as soon as I drop it is telling us that when in free fall, the water is weightless. And this is the same kind of weightlessness that makes astronauts float around in the space station. I can do this in the classroom, demonstrating weightlessness without having to take my students up to space. I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to work on this problem right here in this uh, elaborate studio where Duke Media Services produces high quality video with a bunch of people who are experts in producing high quality video. And what happened is that as we worked through this, we learned that on the one hand, there are things that are easier to do in a classroom when things are immediate and you can actually hand the experiment over to the students. But on the other hand, there are things that with careful uh, production, you can actually demonstrate better through a video than you ever could. There are capabilities that the camera gives you that we could not have reproduced in a classroom. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.